with you, Liv, we never know how far you're going to go with the advice. Oh, it's no. like, it's always a surprise. That's why we love it. Two new girls have just moved into the big house where I currently live. I wonder who this is from. <laughs> um, they seem really nice and I reckon I have a chance that at least one of them. However, other girls keep telling me I'm too nice and that they only see me platonically. How do I go from being the guy that their mums would want them to date to the guy that they want to date? Do you know what? Not from, a- let me guess this very important part. A troubled teacher. Mm. Oh. Mm. Guys, can I just say, this is actually a really, really good question, though, because okay. sometimes you're the guy that the, the mums love, but you need mm. to be the guy that the daughter loves. Can I just jump in and play devil's advocate? So I think I know about this teacher and that, you know, he's too nice, whatever. Well, he stood last night around the fire pit calling them all fake. They've all gone, oh, he's the worst. Then they've gone to brunch the next day and gone, oh, he's just too nice. Make your mind up. <laughs> Being rude to you last night, you didn't like it, and then you've gone the next day, you think it's too nice. Maybe very, a bit more rudeness, point. a bit of casual rudeness. Might what is help. it? A lot of girls sometimes say that they like a guy that's a bit like rude. <sighs> It's, it's just, not rude. It's just when someone's too nice, you're not into it. It gives you the extra. Really yeah, you want it. a bit of edge. You want to know that, like, that, they, you that could just is... wake up in the night and they're gone. You want that, that like, it. you want the fear. No, you want to, that. Is, that's nailed. I mean, not that far, but like, I. <laughs> Liv would go further. You said edge, and I jumped on it, and I got really it's like, that's a perfect way to say it. Like, you yeah. want a boy who, like, obviously is like, really into you and, like, worships the ground you walk on, but you also want him to be like, oh, maybe I won't text you tonight when I'm out with the boys. Yeah. Like, what? What? And you kind of want to know that other girls want them as well. Like, mm. you know, like even though you don't want them to have them, you just want to know that they could still nick a bird because it's attractive. <laughs> Do you know what? Even if it was Honestly, like... Honestly, yeah, well, I wish I could live in a girl's head for a day the way you You don't, speak. trust me, it's no. hell. It is, it is it's, mental. I can tell you it's hell. I do think that's a really good point, though, about the girls. Like, Hugo can't... Oh, sorry, <clears throat> our troubled teacher can't get it right, can they? Because, like... They damned yeah. they do, they damned they don't. Do we think he's got a chance with these two girls, these these new ones? What's unfortunate for our teacher is that every single boy right now, by the looks of it, wants like a bit of action with them girls. So he's up mm. against almost, by the looks of it now, every single boy, which just seems really unfair on so many levels. But yeah. yeah. So it's mm. like, yeah. Do you think he should gonna... crack on or do you think he should try and play the safe card and stick with? The one who saved him just to like Chloe, make it to yeah, the next, I don't through know. the next um, pain. I I quite like him and Claire. I think they got a good they got a good friendship, but yeah, it probably they ain't gonna go further. No. But at the same time, I do think everyone is after the two new girls, and I I hate to say I do think Hugo's gonna struggle. <laughs> I, is that bad for me to say that? Because I just feel like the, the guys are so, like, forward. I just think yeah. he's, he's going to struggle to get a word in there. Mm. Like, like I just feel like he's going to struggle to get in there. Like, you've already got Brad there. He's literally, foot, like, dribbling all over them. Like, they, the boys are, like, beside themselves. Like, they're not even playing it cool. I've never seen it where so many, like, a week in, so many guys are after after yeah. two girls like normally it's yeah. like one or two yeah, it's literally you everyone up. yeah you're right there's not, not one guy in there is there who's happy who's like strong in their couple I only feel toby so... wait is toby that being cares is that hashtag yeah 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 what? yeah oh but do you think though i feel Luke, like they're the all fact, a little the fact you call him hashtag. <laughs> i just that's all i know him is now i can't think anything else like he <laughs> is just hashtag for life <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we just had Lewis Ball on the podcast and he is kind of a similar opinion. He doesn't think that Toby's into it, which really shocked me. Maybe I think he's I think he's something. one foot in, but I think he, like he said very like reluctantly to the boys, like, oh, I think we're going to go 100% in because like, you know, it's just easier that way. It's like, that's not really like the vibe. Like to me, it's more just like he's just in it now and it's, he probably thinks it's too dangerous to like just... Yeah, I, 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 I still do think that Toby genuinely is really shy. Like, I think he's learning on the job. I yeah, really he do. He I believe him. He said to a girl, I love you in the first day. Yeah, but I but just he, think Isn't he really he's young nervous. as well? He's, he's like young 20 as well, or man. something. He is oh, young, really young. He's like our Ken was in there, just shy wallflower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was um, shy. I hope this doesn't come across patronising at all, but I feel like you nailed that advice today. Thank you. The surprise no, you in did. your voice hurts. <laughs> but... No, you did. 